example. Uh, the Empire State Building. Right now, uh, its owners are investing in renovations that will reduce their energy consumption. And this investment will soon pay for itself and save them $4.4 million a year in energy costs. That one building. Now granted, it's a big building. <laughs> so, most buildings aren't as big, they're not going to use as much energy as the Empire State Building, but what we're saying to people is if you're willing to make your buildings more energy efficient, we'll provide new tax credits and financing opportunities for you to do so. And this plan... <laughs> This plan would build on the Homestar program we proposed last year, which would have provided rebates of up to $3,000 for homeowners to make their own homes more energy efficient. And these are upgrades that could save families hundreds of dollars each year in energy costs. See, see, the problem for both homeowners and businesses is they'll recover the money that they make by lowering their utility bills, but they may not have the cash up front. And if we can provide you, if we can provide the American people an incentive, you'll recover that money. You'll get it back. And in the meantime, we're making our entire economy more efficient. Steps like these also can boost manufacturing and private sector jobs. Over the last two years, we've offered similar incentives for cities, and companies, and clean energy manufacturers that want to help America become more energy efficient. I'll give you a couple examples. In Maryland, uh, our program helped an energy-saving window manufacturer boost business by 55%. In North Carolina, there's a company that makes energy-efficient lighting, hired hundreds of new workers. A company that manufactures LEDs just down the road from here in Altoona saw their business increase by a million bucks. We're also going to support state and local governments who come up with the best ideas to make energy uh, uh, efficient buildings the norm. So you show us the best ideas to change your game on the ground, and we'll show you the money. We will show you the money. To get the private sector to lead by example, I'm also issuing a challenge to CEOs, to labor, to building owners, to hospitals, universities, and others to join us. Now, tax credits uh, mean lost revenue for Treasury. It costs money. Since we've got big deficits, we've got to pay for it. So to pay for it, I've asked Congress to eliminate the billions in taxpayer dollars that we currently give to oil companies. subsidizing yesterday's energy, it's time to invest in tomorrow's. It's time to win the future. That's what our problem is. 